a young girl changes her receipt with hers without the woman's notice. The woman tells the cashier that she's there to pick up her parcel. The cashier checks the receipt and then hands her the parcel. The woman heads off with her products. The next customer hands her receipt to the cashier and he consequently hands her the other woman's parcel. The cashier wishes her a good one. The girl then checks her receipt and then complains about it. She claims to be overcharged. The cashier asks her to have a look at it. The other customer watches it from the window. The cashier says that it seems like a misunderstanding. The young woman gets angry and says that she can't believe he's accusing her of stealing. The cashier says that it's nothing like that and that he's going to have a proper look at it. The young girl overreacts and says that the place is bristling with surveillance equipment and that he can get into trouble. The man tells her to calm down because he's going to check it out. The girl tells him to be quick because she hasn't got a lot of time to waste. The cashier then approaches a young man and asks for his help. He says that something is wrong with a client's receipt because the total price is quite high. He tells him to check it for him to see if something's wrong with it. The young man checks the receipt and says that it's indeed overpriced. The cashier says that it's quite odd and tells him to check it closely. The cashier returns. The girl complains about the amount of time she had to wait for him. He tells her that he's sorry and that it was indeed a mistake. He tells her to have a look around and see if she wants another product as a freebie so they can compensate for what happened. The girl says that it's not the first time it's happened. The cashier apologizes and says that mistakes can happen, but he's offering his massive apology for the inconvenience. He tells her to get her freebie and just be merry about it. The girl then decides to take a look around to see if she can find something she likes. The cashier then tells himself that it's about time to trap the cheeky girl. She picks up the product she wants and hands it to the cashier. The cashier apologizes for everything and hands over her shopping bag. He wishes her a good day. She thanks him and walks away with the goods. The other woman who was waiting for her outside greets her and asks why she took so long. The girl says that she managed to achieve it, but the cashier took a while to sort it out. She says that he's hot, though. The con woman's partner asked what she achieved. The girl says that she got a freebie for the alleged misunderstanding. Her friend says that it sounds good to her. Meanwhile, the cashier approaches his co-worker and asks him if he checked the receipt. His co-worker says that there's definitely something really wrong with the receipt. The cashier says that he knows what he can do. He takes a phone out of his pocket and says that it's the girl's phone and that she left it behind. His co-worker says that he's mad. The cashier says that he would have given it back to her if she didn't look dodgy, but he believes it can be a good idea to find out what she's up to. His co-worker says that in that case, it might be a good idea to find out. He then tells his co-worker to take a look outside and see if he can hear something about their plan. The young man agrees to help him, says that he will be spying on the outside, and leaves. The cashier thanks him for his help. He tells himself that he's going to catch her red-handed. Outside, the girl's friend is boasting that she told her that it was a good plan. The girl says that maybe they need to try another chemist because they might start to get suspicious about her. The girl asks if they can try once more. Her friend says that it might be possible because their scam is really good. She then asks the girl what freebie she got. The girl shows what looks like some sort of medicine. Her friend asks why she didn't grab a soda pop or something. The girl says that she didn't have much time. She says that maybe they can go somewhere else to get it. Her friend agrees and says that it's a good idea. The young man hears everything they say. Suddenly, as they're about to leave, the girl remembers that she left her mobile phone behind. The girl says that she's going inside just to get it back. Her friend says that it's a bad idea because they can catch her. The girl says that she's going to be quick. She argues with her friend that it will be safe and all because she got the receipts. Her friend says that it might be too risky. The girl then manages to convince her that she needs to get it back. Her friend agrees and decides to go with her. The young man tells himself that he knew they were up to something and that he's going to put an end to all that. Meanwhile, the girl approaches the cashier and asks him if he saw her mobile phone. He says that he did not. The girl scratches her head and says that she's sure she left it there. The cashier asks if she's sure about it. The girl confirms. He hands her a mobile phone and asks if that's the one. She denies it and says that it's not her phone. The girl gets really angry and says that she can't have someone else's phone. 
The cashier says that it might be nice to know how it feels to have something that's not hers. The girl asks what he's talking about. The cashier asks if she's sure she doesn't know. The girl says that she doesn't and tells him to hand her her phone back because her friend is waiting for her. The man says that he's going to show her what he's talking about and calls his co-worker, Gustavo. Gustavo approaches. The cashier tells him to look to see who's there. Gustavo says that it's a lovely surprise. The scammer's friend asks what's going on and tells them to hand her friend's phone back. The woman says that she's got no time for their jokes and tells them to give her friend's phone back. Gustavo says that he can't believe they're lying to them like that. He says that he checked the receipts and realized that they were up to some sort of scam and that he tracked them. He says that he heard them talking about their scam. He says that he finally got them and calls them a bunch of shoplifters. The girl denies the accusations and says that she's innocent. The cashier shows her actual mobile phone and says that he knows what she's up to. He says that she was very stupid to leave it unlocked because he managed to read all her plans in there. The friend says that the phone doesn't belong to her friend. The cashier laughs and says that he can't believe that they're so stupid. The girl's friend says that she can't accept it and that she's going to throw a tantrum if they do something to her friend. The workers ask if they want him to call the police. The girl's friend tells them to stop provoking her. The cashier tells his co-worker to call the police then. The women then say that it won't be necessary. The women hand the plastic bags back and say that they can have them. Gustavo says that it's not even 10% of what they stole from him. The friend says that she thought they had sorted it out. The cashier says that the proof he found on that mobile phone can put them all in jail. The girl then whispers something in her friend's ears. Her friend then tries to seduce them, saying that they can have a go with them and that they have a great body. The workers think about it for a bit. They then agree to take them to the back. After a while, they came out all sweaty and relaxed. The two workers celebrate their achievement. The girls slap their bum and ask when they're doing it again. Gustavo says that it won't happen again because they're still a bunch of shoplifters. The cashier tells them to leave because they're just lucky they didn't call the police. The girls leave, angry, saying that they're all horrible. The cashier tells them to don't let the door hit them on their way out. The cashier shakes Gustavo's hands and says that they're pretty but criminal.